Kelly Espo, and this is a new Cooking on the Block. It's a new year, and I want to say Happy New Year to everybody. And today, um, I'm taking advice from my really dear friend, Colleen Young from Watchung, New Jersey, um, high school buddy, the Max, okay? But she suggested to me to do simple chicken dishes, and you know what? I'm heeding her, um, her request, and today we're going to do a chicken marsala. And behind me, I got, you know, the real thin chicken cutlets from the market. I floured them with the salt and the pepper, and I'm going to just saute them in the good olive oil and a little bit of butter till they're golden brown. But the key to finishing the chicken behind me is making sure you have the good marsala wine. And what I mean by that is authentic marsala wine from Marsala Sicily. And make sure you get the dry Marsala, okay? And on some um, brands it will say Secco, S-E-C-C-O, which means dry in Italian. So the key to a good Marsala sauce is authentic Marsala wine. So come on, we'll uh, start making this sauce. Got my chicken cutlets going, it's gonna be easy. Okay, now look at our chicken. It's nicely golden brown. It's not totally done all the way through because what we're going to do, I'm going to take these out. I'm going to put them on my platter because we're going to return the chicken into the sauce. Once we make our pancels, we're going to return the chicken in and reheat it. But you get a lot of the, the flavor into the chicken and the chicken ju juices into the sauce. Okay, so now we're going to add our garlic. Can't have a marsala without garlic. Okay, and we're going to get this nicely golden brown. Okay, see, you want those brown bits? Okay, and I got them all going in there with the garlic is lightly uh, golden. Now we're going to add our sliced mushrooms. And I just use white mushrooms. You can use shiitakes. You can use portobello. Um, I, like, I like these. This is what I got. Okay, now we're going to get these nice and brown. And then we'll finish our sauce with that delicious marsala. Okay, our mushrooms are getting nice and golden. You can smell the garlic, it smells really good. Now I want to season here, okay? So I'm adding a little sea salt, all right? And some cracked black pepper. Okay, now it's time to add our diet, delicious marsala. Okay, now, just gonna do a few turns in the pan. We don't have that much chicken, so we don't need that much wine. And now, we're just going to let this cook down a little bit and let it reduce because we want some of the alcohol to cook off. Okay, the sauce is cooking down really nicely. I want to get it, give it another richer flavor. Uh, I'm tasting a lot of the wine, which is a good thing, but um, we're going to round it out. The chicken stock will round it out for you, okay? And I'll give you all the measurements, all the uh, increments on the website. Don't get nervous. I'll give you the recipe. Um, but it tastes amazing already. And I want to taste it right now for salt. It is absolutely perfect. Now, you know, once I added the chicken stock that has salt in it, so of course, you know about the layering. You taste it as you go along. Alrighty, now I want to add my chicken, which still has that flour clinging to it. It's going to help thicken the sauce, plus it's, the chicken juices will permeate into the sauce again, and of course the sauce back into the chicken. So it's a, a two-fold um, marriage here. Okay, so we're going to let this cook for like another couple of minutes, and um, we're going to be ready to eat it. Okay, now I have about a teaspoon of butter, sweet butter, and I'm going to swirl it into the sauce. And it's going to give it a really nice, rich flavor. The sauce is really, really nice. It's not real thick. It's not too thin. It really came out nice. So, we're going to plate this up. It smells amazing. Okay, now let's get over here. Okay. And I have some nice chopped Italian parsley for a garnish. Now all we have to do is ladle our sauce over. Now you know you can use veal cutlets for this, pork cutlets. 
that's a great sauce and look how fast and easy that was huh the smell is amazing okay now give me a few seconds and I'll come back and I'll show you a nice side dish that I had going on in the oven while I was making the chicken it's gonna round out this meal you're gonna love it okay now look at this beautiful chicken marsala huh how fast and easy, right? As long as you have your ingredients, you're good to go. Now I want to taste the sauce. Wow, I'm telling you, this makes the difference. Please, you have to get a really good marsala. Now, for a side dish, I roasted some green beans, okay, with cherry tomatoes and garlic, and it all caramelized and roasted together. Now I want to hit it with some sea salt, Okay, and um, look how beautiful they came. The green beans got, look at the nice color on them and the um, cherry tomatoes got like little jewels, like little candy. It's so good, it was so easy. I put it on a baking sheet, coated all the, the vegetables with olive oil, salt and pepper, and sliced garlic, threw it in the oven for like 20 minutes, and here it was. And while I was making this, that was in the oven, so everything came out together. That is delicious. Okay, this is another cooking on the block, and I'm Chef Belly Espo. Bon appetit.